I cannot believe that I have not told you about this. We are leaving for a trip to Hawaii in about a week, and I was getting gear together and getting my Ace Pro ready, getting all the stuff that I use with the Ace Pro. I realized I haven't told you guys about like my favorite thing to use with the Ace Pro. I made a bunch of videos on this already, and I've I've never mentioned my favorite thing, which is which is this right here, the GPS Live Preview Remote for the Ace Pro. We're gonna talk a little bit about this today. Also, just like the past three months with this camera, how has it been? I just put out my three months later with the Pocket 3, and this came out right after the Pocket 3. So how has this thing been over the past three months? First though, again, I, I wanna tell you guys about this thing. This is just, it's just the coolest. Look at this little remote here, little screen, hold on. I press and hold the power button, it turns on. <laughs> and it also starts my camera. I can have this camera mounted anywhere, and from this remote control, I can turn it on and off, and I can, and I can see the shot. Let me, let me show you how this thing works. Okay, let's say that you are going to mount your action camera somewhere like, like the outside of your car, or maybe on your plane wing, or, or on the skid of a helicopter, somewhere really cool, getting a really cool shot, but you can't easily access your camera. That was, that was loud. Somewhere you can't easily access your camera. I'm gonna put mine on the outside of the van. Okay, shot is set up, but I'm not gonna start recording. I don't have to do the whole thing where I press record and film for an hour because I've got the remote control for the, that camera while I'm inside. <laughs> okay, live preview remote that can control my camera. I can turn it off and on. I can see exactly what I'm shooting at. I can see my shot on here and I've got I've got a couple of little ways to mount it. Oh, where did I put them? There you are. I've got a couple of great ways to mount it. So you've got these kind of silicone sleeves. This one's like more of a, a watch, like kind of looks like an Apple Watch Ultra. And then this one is for handlebars. But I kind of was thinking too, like you could mount it on your steering wheel if you were doing driving shots. Like I'm about, oh, there we go. So I can pop this into this little silicone holder, get that in there nicely. And then I could just strap this to, again, like probably a handlebar, like a bicycle handlebar is what I think this is meant for. But I'm gonna strap it to my, my steering wheel. I now have a live preview of that shot uh, right here though. And I can change all the settings. I can go in here, swipe up from the bottom. It looks exactly like the back of the screen on the camera. I can do 8K, 4K, 2.7. I can change my frame rate, change my rate. I can change anything that I can change on the camera. I can change from this remote. And when I'm ready to hit record, I just, <laughs> I hit record from here. And again, I can see my entire shot from, from this little screen. Let's go for a little drive. We'll get this shot, we'll, we'll just kind of switch it up, get different angles, get different shots, and again, be able to monitor the shot the entire time. Where's my, oh, wow. I lost my keys. In the ignition, let's, uh, let's get cool driving shots. GPS preview remote. This, yeah, again, I can't believe I didn't tell you guys about this thing. Let's talk a little bit more about kind of more of the details of this little guy. It is $150 extra. So on top of the price of the camera, this is an additional accessory, 150 bucks to me well worth the price. It's using Bluetooth 5 on there, giving us 20 meters of total range. So 20 meters, you can still control all your cameras, but if you want that live preview, you have to be within eight meters, which 24 feet, like that's, that's not that close, and you get a live preview on your screen uh, just with this little teeny tiny remote. 
And the battery in here is pretty impressive as well. Six hours of actual usage and then 60 hours of standby time. The only the only one bummer, it's IP68 rated, which means that they have a proprietary charging port on the back. So to be water resistant like that, you couldn't have a USB-C or you'd be dealing with a door and, and all that. So on here, you have a proprietary charging cable and it's and it's waterproof. And like I said, there was a bar strap for it. And then this, this I've actually really liked using and, and boom, I now have a wrist mounted live preview remote. So whether I had this like mounted up on my helmet or even on my chest, like a lot of mountain bikers have it mounted down here and it is a pain in the butt to get your shot to where it's like exactly tilted the right angle. So you could be riding, you could look down, check your shot, kind of fix it a little bit. And then again, uh, oh, that's a photo. I'm in photo mode. You can start and stop recording from your wrist. So instead of having to reach up and do anything, you can do all that right here. You can also pause recording on here so you can do the pause recording. The one thing you cannot do on here or I haven't figured out how to do is cancel recording, which when it comes to the Ace Pro over the last three months has probably been my most used feature. I knew I was gonna like it, but I didn't realize that I was gonna use it so much. There's so many times where I start a clip and I start recording something and I realize pretty quickly in, I'm not gonna use this at all. And to be able to just start a clip when I don't want it, press, hold, continue holding, and cancel recording, that's amazing. It has saved me so many just junk files on there. So when I get into posts and I pull all the Ace Pro files in, I know they are all files that I was stoked on. There's none that I'm like, oh, that's a four second. There's a four second nothing. There's 10 seconds of nothing. There's 15. It saves you so much time in post having canceled recording. I haven't used pause recording as much as I thought I would. I know that there's a lot of people that are talking kind of use cases for pause recording. I, I haven't found myself pausing to, you know, maybe a stoplight or something like that and then starting recording again. I haven't found myself doing that too much, but maybe, I don't know, maybe I will when we're in Hawaii. Two big features on here. For me, it's the, the flip up screen one. It's, it's massive, a 2.4 inch flip up screen. It's bigger screen than either the GoPro or DJI have, and you get it on the front of the camera or on the back of the camera. You can also do like low angle shots, like putting it down here and being able to film like this. It kind of makes me film with it more like I film with my big cameras because that's how I use my big cameras is I use the, the variable tilt screen to be able to do different angles, different shots. So cancel recording, flip up screen. The third one that's really stood out to me is the active HDR. I am shocked at how good the shadow retention and highlight detail is within within one of them. It looks very similar to like, you know, like when you're shooting with your iPhone, sometimes you shoot with your iPhone and you go, why does this look so much better than if I shot with my big camera? And the reason is, is it's doing a lot of post-processing on device. And that's what this guy is doing with that AI chip built in. It's able to use that active HDR to not only keep those shadows boosted, but also pull down those We go to the jacuzzi over here with the kids all the time and the sun sets so that we are in the shade and the clouds in the background are still in the bright sun. And I can shoot my kids in the jacuzzi just floating around and you still see those clouds. Like I wouldn't see those clouds if I was shooting on this camera. If I was shooting on this camera, I'd be filming my girls and I there would not be clouds. It would be mostly a white sky. Maybe a little bit, but not definitely not what this thing's pulling. Then also the face detection, being able to be in a scene like this. This is considered low light, like how I have these lights set up, how I have this camera dialed in. This is considered low light and this thing looks incredible, but check this out. If I go, if I go backlit, it still keeps my face like very well exposed for the situation. Most cameras right here, this situation, two big lights behind me are gonna go, can, my face would be totally black. But in this situation, it keeps me fairly well exposed. And again, this is a low light scenario for action cameras or smaller censored cameras. And then of course, that pure video mode for real low light situations like nighttime, this thing, it just, it's so good compared to my other options that I, I really, I haven't really used another action camera for the past three months. This has been my main action camera that I've been using. I have not reached for anything else just because I know, like when you look at the whole package of this camera, it's just got so many features that even if another action camera can beat it in like one area or another as a total package, 
this camera is phenomenal. I also haven't used 8K much at all. I haven't shot in 8K. I do everything in 4K, shoot in 4K, but having the option for clarity zoom on there has been really cool. To be able to tap on that, to punch in 2X, and it still be 4K, again, it's using that 8K sensor, it's pixel binning normally to be 4K, so it unpixel bins so you can get the full readout and you can get that 2X punch in. Like so dang cool. And again, only possible because of the processor and the AI chip in the Ace Pro. Oh, and then lastly in modes, it does have, you know, the hand gesture control, which I think is really cool. You hold it out like this. Hang on, let me get out of the menu. Gesture control is now on. I can hold up my hand like this. It begins recording. I can hold up my hand again. It will stop recording. If I hold up my hand, even if I'm recording a video, I can still hold up a peace sign and it'll take a photo while shooting a video, which is awesome, but I, I can't use that feature. I talk with my hands too much, so if I have this camera up and I'm talking with my hands like this, it, it thinks that I want to stop recording, and it does. So, for all of you out there that do not talk with your hands like this a lot, gesture control is really cool. I, though, cannot use it, <laughs> but I think, I think that's it. I did put screen protectors on the rear and I put the screen protector that comes with the, the little Amazon one. I put it over the lens, which normally I wouldn't do, but again, it's not a replaceable lens. So I pop that on there. I figure it'll help me like just like scuffs and scratches, like silly little things. I don't see any quality loss with having it on there. Again, though, Insta 360 does have that full replacement warranty. So if you do get this, you crack your glass or you damage the glass in any way, you send it in, they send you a brand new one. But yeah, guys, uh, three months later with this camera, it is my main action camera. Just again, as a total package of a device, this is the best action camera that's out there, right? I still like the X3 maybe more, but I find myself using this more than even the X3 now. Okay, any more questions that you guys have, any more comments that you have about the Ace Pro, throw them down below. I will be down there for you know a few hours after I post a video. I post a video, I'm in there just responding to as many comments as possible. Any that really stand out, I'll, uh, I'll include them in a future video. All right, I'll see you soon. You want to live in Maui? Yeah. yeah, she said, when this house is our old house, then we should move to Maui. We should move to Maui.